Hello Virgo. This is your July 2019 reading. It will be the full Celtic cross. New energies coming in for the zodiac sign of Virgo. Virgo. Full Celtic cross. New energies coming in for those born under the sign of Virgo. As you know, Tarot is here to help, not to hinder. And if you don't like the path shown, change it. You can change it. You don't have to stick with it. But if you like it, embrace it. Don't let it get away from you. Positive things that come in, embrace it, like I said. Incoming energy, you got the Ace of Swords. Maybe you're cutting something out of your life. Maybe uh, some of you are having trouble speaking your truth. There's all kind of definitions for this. But in reverse, it's like, I don't think it's as harsh, harsh energy as others like to say. I'm, I'm thinking it's like you're holding back a little, but you're wanting to put forth your energy and to put forth out things that are truthful. But for some reason, you have to put that down for now or in the past you were because this is the incoming energy starting. Let's see what the subject at hand is. Six of, Pentacles, six of Pentacles, give and take. Maybe you're needing someone to give and take, you know, give and take more with you, or you're going to be doing this with somebody else. Maybe that's why you're not putting forth that, you know, energy of the sword. What's crossing it is someone needs to move on from troubled waters with the Six of Swords. Now, I will be clarifying these, and as I clarify, as I go on with the reading, the story will change, so bear with me. I'm just telling you what the meanings are, and as we clarify, it'll become more clear. What crowns you or your goal is getting on top of things and possibly even defending yourself. Get the Seven of Wands. Move this over a bit. Foundation, again, control, ruling well. Telling people what you're wanting and making a decision and, and sticking with what you're saying. And also for a few of you, you can be working with an, an, an Aries. In the past, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, they are in the upright. This could be, like I said, it could be a water sign. But it could be that someone like yourself is holding up their emotions. They're deciding to take on some emotions that are more sound and more um, caring and more loving. Or you're wanting this from somebody. In the near future, you've got the Knight of Cups, but it's in reverse. So it's like there are some giving and taking you're taking up for yourself. So in the near future, you may decide not to work with somebody possibly. But I don't know for sure. I have to clarify. But it also could be that someone you are dealing with may not have their emotions sound and upright or feel like you're giving enough to them. I'm feeling that. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe. It says to walk away from a troublesome situation. Not necessarily walk away from people. People say this all the time. But it could be walking away from negativity too. But I need to clarify, like I said. What is coming towards you, the high priestess, maybe something of a secret comes out. Or outside influences, something comes out, things are become more clear. It also could be, for some of you, just a few, depending what the next card next to it will be. Is somebody may feel like their intuition is off. But i got to clarify again. Hopes and fears, the page of pentacles. You're afraid that you won't get messages of stability and sound offers. Or you're afraid of a message uh, that may have to do with a uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or this could be you. You know, maybe you're afraid you won't yourself be able to offer anything of stability. And that's just a fear. It doesn't have to be a reality. The outcome, no more strife, no more arguments possibly. Maybe you'll put them away. But you are going to take up for yourself soon, very soon. Let's find out what's going on in July. Now, I do some, see some giving and take here. Someone's wanting to work on a situation and move on from troubled waters, possibly. So, Six of Pentacles and uh, Six of Swords. Why are you there is the subject at hand for Virgo. 
yeah, you're doing this because it, you were things that were happening, you didn't like the way they were going. So someone's going to have to step forward and start working on the situation with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and to move on from a troubling situation because they didn't feel like it was prosperous to them or fortunate for them. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Why are you there as a subject of hand? And you need to put something to rest that needs to be put to rest. Putting up, like I said, it could be negativity, it could be anger, it could be emotional situations gone amok, it could be secrets that someone was carrying. Someone needs to let go of a situation and not keep on resurrecting negative thoughts and feelings with the death card in reverse. What crowns you is the Seven of Wands, and it's a good card. I like the Seven of Wands. It's someone who stands up for themselves, uh, getting on top of things, and doing things in in a uh, the right way. You know, valor. So Seven of Wands in the upright. Why are you there, for Virgo? Yeah, something from the past. You need to get on top of something. And, and getting control and take up for yourself from something in the past, an emotional situation from the past, because that's the Six of Cups in reverse. Can I get another card for the Seven of Wands in the upright and the Six of Cups in reverse? That's what crowns Virgo, what their goal is. Could be someone that's over controlling. We do have the Emperor here as taking control, but your goal is um, to defend yourself to something that was over controlling. Or trying to control a situation, possibly someone from the past. Now the foundation, you got the emperor, and maybe you're trying to gain that control. So the emperor, oops, there it goes, page of pentacles, that's got to be you. Taking control over messages and situations that allow you to become, become more secure and stable. So the emperor, the page of pentacles, both in the upright, why are you there for Virgo? Yeah, and drop something. Don't work so hard on something that doesn't is, is not worth it to you with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're trying to take a control of something that was just not working. And maybe you have you maybe you're trying to turn that around in some way. But also it's saying with the death card, let things go that no longer serve you or work you know, work well with you in your life. Now in the past you have the Queen of Cups. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or like I said, someone just regaining sound emotions. And um, they're kind of loving, you know, when they're in the upright. So the Queen of Cups in the upright, in the past, why are you there for Virgo? Someone didn't someone felt something was hopeless with the Queen of Cups, or the Queen of Cups feels like something is hopeless with the star in reverse. Queen of Cups in the upright, the star card in reverse. Why are you there in the past for Virgo? And they were trying to avoid a, a tower situation, things from crumbling down. They're trying this could be, like I said, you trying to regain your your, your emotions. Um and you were trying to avoid <clears throat> excuse me, a tower situation, or you did. Because something was hopeless, so you, you left it. You, you're maybe because it was unfortunate, you know, and now you're trying to do some give and take and take up for yourself, but also give offer something of yourself, but not necessarily to where it makes your world crumble. That makes any sense. Now, in the near future is the Knight of Cups. You can be down again with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or, like I said, you're not going to offer just anybody you know, um, a cup of love or a cup of friendship. It could be, and let's find out why. Maybe you have a good reason. So Knight of Cups in reverse, why are you there in the near future? Yeah, you're going to, you're not going to decide on a situation anymore in the near future. You're going to drop something possibly or not make an offer. So Knight of Cups, two of wands in the very near future, why are you there? Or that you're unable to make. Yeah, you're going to know. You're going to drop something. You're not going to accept an offer. You're not going to accept something if you know what it is in July. It's something that you do not feel that is good for you or that is worth your while because you got the four cups in reverse. So you may totally reject a cup offer that someone may be offering you because you don't feel like they're very good options or choices for you. <clears throat> now... Possible future advice from the universe or the outcome, part of the outcome, 
is the Eight of Cups. It's in the upright. It's someone walking away from a situation that was troublesome. So Eight of Cups in the upright. Why are you there for Virgo in July? What's going on? Yeah, so you become untrapped with the Eight of Swords um, in reverse to break free from something. It's saying to walk away from something that was tying you up and causing interference and mental anxiety for you. So Eight of Cups in the upright, Eight of Swords in reverse while you're there for Virgo. Yeah, the devil, become unchained, become untrapped. Now, there's so many different definitions for de um, the devil, but I'm not giving a course right here. I'm just telling you, when I see in the upright is someone feeling chained. And depending on the neck, the card next to it will actually define what it is. So you got the Eight of Swords and you got the Devil, and you got them next to each other. I see that as breaking free and becoming unchained and walking away from a, a chain situation that was really kind of harsh, you know, on you. you now the outside environment is the High Priestess, and I'm, I can go on and on, but let's get another card before I even start. The High Priestess in the reverse. Why are you there for Virgo? Coming towards Virgo or the outside environment. Why are you there? <clears throat> yeah, someone's hanging around waiting on something. Something came out. Someone you're dealing with. And they're hanging around waiting on something from you. The high priest is in reverse, the hangman in the up or in the upright. Why are you there as the outside environment? Something came out. And someone may, or wait, maybe they're waiting for um, the home to become happy again. Maybe they want this again. But something came out, and they may offer it to you, but you may not accept it in July, or at least the first part of July, because maybe you're expecting some give and take, and you're taking up for yourself. You don't like people pushing you lately, and it has something to do with the past. And you're not wanting to work on a negativity situation. And also, I know that in the past, you do not want a tower situation. You may have avoided it. And maybe someone is telling you something with a high priestess. Maybe they're not hiding anymore. Maybe they're waiting for, for a happy home with you. Or someone's waiting on a happy home as an outside environment with the four of wands in the upright. Now, your hopes and fears this is a page of pentacles. This could be you, you know, it's in the upright, but maybe you're wanting more of a secure foundation and messages that are, that you know are going to be long lasting. You know, if someone's going to make you a promise, you want it there for a while. You don't want some just fly by night stuff. So page of pentacles in the upright while you're there for Virgo as the hopes and fears in July. Yeah, you're wanting a more stable offer. That's just the way it is. You're, you're wanting what you're wanting. The Ace of Pentacles. Someone handing you a stable offer and messages that are stable. So Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, both in the upright. Why are you there in hopes and fears for Virgo? Knight of Swords. I did see that. Remember we saw that Swords energy. That the Knight of Swords can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It could be that message that you're wanting, the message, someone being forthright and um, doing as they said they would do, you know, you know, make, if you're going to make a promise, make sure it's sound and it's going to happen. No fly by the light night stuff. Like I said, you want it straightforward. You want what you're wanting. And I see that a lot lately with a lot of the signs and there's nothing wrong with that. Now in the end is the five of wands is strife in reverse. So maybe you're coming out of strife, but let's say could be that you're stuck in it. Depends on the next card. Five of Wands in reverse. Why you there for Virgo is the final outcome. Page of Wands. Yeah, it says overcome strife with the Page of Wands type energy. The Page of Wands energy um, can be a short-tempered type energy, or they spout off, or they or they or they say something without thinking, and. Um, it's saying, um, don't argue with this type of energy. Don't deal with it. And with the advice from the universe, remember, it was saying walk away from things that, that tie you up and bound you up that's not worth it. So, Five of Wands <clears throat> in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse as the final outcome for Virgo while you're there. 
Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius possibly, but again, someone with a quick temper and someone that uh, holds grudges if you're not careful. But uh, I, don't th I don't think I see you not wanting to deal, not wanting to argue, not to have strife with this person anymore. And that could be, or, or energy, this type of energy. It doesn't have to be a person. It could just be that negative energy that the universe is saying, walk away, don't let it trap you. Because someone may or something may make you an offer that you will reject because it no longer serves you. It's not what you're wanting. It doesn't bring you a fortunate situation, as I was telling you here. You're wanting to give and take. You're wanting to go on from a troubled situation. You're wanting to take control. You're wanting positive messages messages of long-term stability. And you will take up for yourself from something in the past that was over-controlling. Something does come out. Someone does bring a truth. Someone stops hiding their feelings. And they're waiting for you. Or a situation is waiting for you so you can have a happy home. But you're wanting what you're wanting. You're wanting stability, not some fly-by-night stuff. And you're no longer wanting to battle over that. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice keeps on going as I read. But I do see you just standing up for yourself, going for stability, and letting other people know this is what you're wanting now. You're taking control, and you're no longer having people trying to control you. Again, the King of Wands in reverse. They're not going to be happy. So whoever you're dealing with, if it is a person, they're going to be, they're going to be uh, you know, probably snapping at you a little. But you're going to say, I'm not doing it. I'm taking up for myself. I'm not doing this. And um, things got to change. The situation's got to change. I don't like this unknowing stuff anymore. So whatever is being offered to Virgo, it has to be sound and it has to be stable and it has to be long term. And it has to be honest and not just, you know, words, in other words. <laughs> but that is your reading. <clears throat> and I will let this go. And I will be giving you another reading, hopefully for mid-July before mid-July so you know what's going on so if you want to see if this carries on from that we find out what's going on you can hit the subscribe and the notification bell and it very well could tell you more or we could have a whole different new energy but remember Virgo you're standing up for yourself and and that's a good thing okay bye